Hey, what is going on guys? Pearlmaker Dev here, and this video is actually going to be a little different. It's not going to be a tutorial on how to make a, a freaking Iron Man suit like this man put it. Um, instead, we're actually going to be looking at the top six or, or seven, I haven't really decided yet, um, but the top seven web development tools that you should definitely start using if you're not using them right now because they're going to make your life so much easier and um, and you'll, you're pretty much like all of them. So. Without further ado, let's uh, dive right into it, as always. Alrighty, so tool number one, ShotSnap.com. Now, if you're a UI designer or a front-end developer, whatever, you should definitely start using this website right here because it's going to make your life so much easier, as I said before, by previewing or displaying some screenshots in uh, some devices. So we've got our phone right here. It's an iPhone X, and... Uh, we can upload an image by clicking right over there, uh, just select your image. It's gotta have the same resolution as the phone you're picking. And you can also change the device. So we've got a couple of them right here. And obviously you can position it wherever you want just by dragging the phone. You've also got the option to rotate it. And when you click on the background, you're gonna have another list of options. Uh, so the first one is uh, change the background color. You've got a couple colors there. You just put the hexadecimal value right about there. You can even upload your own background image from your computer. And you also have a bunch of templates that you can use. They're totally free to use. There is the paid version if you want to go uh, more professional, but the free version is just fine. You can use it with no problems. You also have different devices like uh, a monitor. If you want to display your image in a monitor, you've got uh, a couple of them right here. And it works pretty much the same like the phone you've got. Uh, you can change the type of monitor you want. You also have a smartwatch, laptop, and a browser window. And it has the same options, just like the phone and the computer. And when you're finally done, all you gotta do is hit that green button to download. And voila! Okay, so tool number two is called Font Flipper, and it's definitely very, very useful. And what it does is that it helps you decide whether the font fits well with your layout or, or not, and it gives you a variety of fonts to choose from. And the way it works is by uploading an image of your project or just uh, taking a screenshot. I'm just gonna use a sample image just to show you guys. Uh, so the next thing you'll do is place a text in your image by clicking anywhere on the image and just uh, typing out your text. You can also change the font size if you wanted and obviously position it wherever you want. And then you'll have to press next and it'll just take you to a different section. And then it will start suggesting to you a couple of fonts that uh, are possibly to fit out with the image. And all you have to do is just click on love or that X, uh, which means that you don't like the font. And um, it will store all of the all of the fonts that you liked here in that uh, hum hamburger menu, whatever the hell it's called. So you just click on it and then you're gonna find all of your fonts stored in there. And once you click on them, it'll take you to the font Google, googlefont.com uh, website so that you can actually download the font. Moving on to the next tool and it is called carbon.now. So if you have ever wanted to ch to send a code snippet or or a piece of code to someone or share it with someone, this is a great, great, great website for, for doing that. And um, it's basically, it's going to put a little bit of code in, in a picture and it's just going to generate the picture and you can download it. It's pretty cool. I, I, I use it a lot. The next tool is called Keyframes and it's also very, very useful. Um, so it helps you out uh, manage your keyframes when working with the animation. So you don't really have to type a lot of code and just keep trying and, and changing the code because this website is going to generate the code for you. You don't really have to type out any code. So we have a an example. So this is just an example element. You can actually change it by clicking on target element and you'll have two inputs. The first one is uh, the HTML and the second one is the CSS. You'll just have to delete this whole thing and paste out your uh, your your code. And then right in that corner, you're gonna have all of the CSS properties that you would need when working with the animations. And in the bottom, we also have the animation settings, uh, like the delay, the timing, duration, all of these things. And um, we've got a timeline as well. So those are states uh, and currently we're in the zero state and we can place any, any change we want um, in the CSS properties. So I'm just gonna go to the opacity and I'm gonna set it to zero. So I want, I want it to be zero at the 0%, okay? And um, at the 100%, I'm going to change it into one so that it actually fades, um, fades 
in, right? That's not fade. I can't really, I can't really. And then just click on play and it's going to play the animation for you. Uh, you can also mess around with the other properties, but I'm not really going to go through them all now because I want to win a little bit of time. And after you're done with everything, all you got to do is go to that button right there in the top output CSS and then just uh, copy clipboard and it's going to copy this, the whole, um, uh, keyframes code. Okay. So tool number 25, it's called, uh, stylifyme.com. And it's pretty helpful. It's, it's pretty cool. You, you should probably check it out. So what it does is that it gives you any typography information. If that makes sense, it's going, it's going to give you the, the information of the styles that are used in whatever website you give it. So all you have to do is uh, give it the URL of any website that you like, and it's going to give you the information like the hexadecimal values of the background colors used in that website. And it's going to give you the text colors and the typography, like all the fonts used. And uh, it's also going to give you the, the, uh, the dimensions of the images, uh, used in that website so that you can measure them pretty well. I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm not making sense. And it's going to give you this homepage that is used in that website as well. It's pretty cool. You should probably check it because you know, when you're freelancing, uh, a lot of people just send you a link of a fancy website and they just ask you to make a similar one. So all you have to do is just paste the URL of that website and it's going to give you all of the, 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 uh, the, the, the information. All right. So it's not cheating. All right. It's just, just, just to let you know, it's not cheating. It's cool. So that's the end of the video, guys. If you have liked it, please, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me um, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, I'm pretty sure that you're not new, but uh, all, I don't know. So if you have any questions, just comment down below. I will answer you. I'll be really happy. You're going to make my day. Um, and also the link of the, all of the links that are included in this video are going to be down below in the description. So there's nothing to worry about. I got you all, all of you. So, uh, peace out.